are getting hyped for the big family vacation this summer. Fun in the sun, cool drinks on a hot beach, ice cream while watching fireworks, game time with the grandparents, all of the ingredients that make up the best summer ever. But <laughs> before you dive in, how about we take a minute to talk about a few of the uh, uncomfortable situations that always seem to pop up at the most inconvenient times. For instance, who's going to pay for dinner or who's going to cook dinner. <laughs> what about figuring out who sleeps where? Who gets the big bedroom with the beautiful view? And when it's time to settle down for the evening, who gets the remote? <laughs> See what we're talking about here. Uh, fortunately for us, etiquette expert Grace Foxwell Murdoch, owner of Professional Grace, is here with us this afternoon to help us clear up any confusion. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm delighted. You to are be ready here. to go, aren't Let's you? Let's go on vacation. Man. <laughs> Absolutely. If you're looking for some extras, I think we're ready to go with okay. you. Okay. Yeah. I have experience in this area, so let's talk about vacation. I'm Traveling with family and friends can be fun, but there are some awkward situations there that are. can pop up, aren't there? There are, Jimmy. And what we need to do is we need to remember to pack our patience mm -hmm. and our good attitude. Yeah. Because you don't want you don't want any kind of tension when you're all together. It's vacation. No. You get enough in, of that at work, right? Inevitably, Lisa, there's going to be some tension. But what you want is not for that tension in those moments to define the vacation. Okay. So uh, let's get to one that always happens. Who grabs the bill during large outings with family? or friends. Well, let's just say pre-planning makes for a positive experience. And if you're talking about going vacation, you've already made plans. So part of that planning should be to talk about that. When we go out, do we always look to the parents or the grandparents to pay the bill? Uh, children who are in their 40s and 50s are quite accomplished and they're probably paying their own bills. So they need to talk about this and decide not by the time you get to the restaurant. Wrong time, wrong place. Exactly. Okay, so let's say we want to cook. We want to fire up the grill. Sure. Who and gets to be the chef? Again, <laughs> planning. And you talk about who's going to do the cooking. I have a wonderful daughter-in-law who loves to cook when we go on family vacations. So I let her, and I take rubber gloves, and I'm good with the cleanup. And I ask the children to help it, help me do the cleanup, too. I love a clean sink, a little... little um, um, little thing. Yeah, that that's a little thing. I like to have the sink clean, so I don't mind doing that, and she loves to do the cooking. Also, you could pick nights. You could have a sheet where people sign up and say, I'll cook, and the other person cleans up. Just plan it ahead of time. So so have your, your cleaning planned ahead. Right. Okay. Uh, we mentioned the battle over the re remote control. Now, that one can be tricky, especially when you have grandpa and little kids. Yeah, multi-generational uh, vacations are, can be a challenge. And what has to be remembered is the best thing is when you're looking for that vacation spot, if you're renting uh, a home, two venues for TV are excellent because the kids get their area and the older generation gets their area. Um, what happens is that my age group might be offended by what the youngsters want to watch and be cautious that you don't want them exposed to it, but you don't, they live apart from you most of the year, so you have to be a little bit tolerant, and it is vacation. They're there to have a good time. Um, you must agree ahead of time who gets the remote, maybe what nights, and who gets to choose what's being watched. Taking your own videos, the DVDs are great because then you have some control over what would be watched. So separate areas is great, but one place that we're all gonna share is gonna be the bathroom. Oh, that <laughs> can be challenging. The best thing about remembering about using the bathroom is to clean up after yourself when you leave. Wet towels on vacations tend to take over the shower, um, the shower bar, mm -hmm. and where do you hang them to after they've showered, um, all of that. Just keep a check on what you have done in the bathroom and, and keep it clean and make sure if there are common doors that they're not locked in the middle of the night for the other person who can't go in. Yeah. Um, you might think I've had that experience, but um, yeah, just be careful and uh, m mind your manners in that area too. All yeah. right, there's another thing that, that we have to bring up and I'm sure it's happened. You know, you have a family member who 
I don't know, gets a little too comfortable, maybe prefers to walk around in their underwear or yeah. something, that might not go over well with a big uh, family No, vacation. that's right. Well, we just had uh, Father's Day. Maybe somebody got a robe for family vacation, <laughs> you know, or the lightweight pajama pants because often it's warm. People will have the, the windows or the uh, doors open during the vacation. So agree ahead of time. I mean, even this is just a beach cover-up. It can be used for multiple purposes. But when you're in the uh, family area, there should be some rules that you need to cover up just a little bit. You don't want to roll out of bed in yeah. skivvies <laughs> in front of everybody else. A little, little courtesy there in New That's York. right. Uh, you go on vacation, you're going to take a lot of pictures. Yes. You take a lot of pictures, you have a lot of your family and your friends in there. Absolutely. But they, we don't look, I'm not going to look like this on vacation. Right. What if I really don't want somebody to tag me in, in their social media posts? You just say, and you say, that's, that's an off-limits picture. Let's not put that one on. I'd prefer you not post that one. Um, then you get the uh, traditional pictures of everybody smiling in the camera, and that's fun too. The natural pictures of the swimming events or the game playing, those are the fun ones. But ask ahead of time because you don't want anybody uncomfortable forever on the internet, on Facebook. All right, so you mentioned game playing and you brought yes, a couple games and some other things here. And it's fun to have things, if you rent a house, oftentimes they have things there for you, but if you have games that you absolutely love. I'm a Scrabble player, so I have to have Scrabble. I would take one of those. A puzzle is fun, but I would suggest nothing over 500 pieces because you're out and about doing other things, so right. you may not get to do a thousand pieces, and you want that sense of completion. Gotcha. And if you're a former teacher, you're going to take an educational puzzle, so the USA <laughs> for the younger kids. But um, uh, this is, uh, the travel games are great. This is Connect Four, a quick game that oh cards, canasta, learn a new card game, right. um, tech issues with phones and iPads. You might need to make some rules about how many, how long they get to be on their tech, right. including the adults. Yeah. Also, Fingernail oh, polish? Yeah. Oh, make, make fun events. Do a, do a manicure night. <laughs> um, don't paint every finger the same color. You know, use lots of fun colors. Get grandma to, to wear the blue fingernail exactly. polish. You might even want to take some decorations because it is your week there and it might give the kids fun, make fun for them to decorate the, um, the place. But it's about making memories, good memories. And the bottom line, in addition to making memories, is just plan ahead. Make sure everything is taken care of ahead of time and agreed upon. Have a wonderful vacation. That's exactly right. And I think that's all doable. Uh, preparation is going to be the key thing. And a great attitude. And be flexible mm -hmm. because everybody has different likes and dislikes. So you just have to plan to be as flexible and compassionate about things as possible. Etiquette expert Grace Foxwell Murdoch from Professional Grace, thank you so much for My coming pleasure. in. My pleasure. Happy vacation. Thank, thank you. Vacation.